So this is going to be a reading for my Geminis. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be for June 1st to the 2nd. And yeah, let's get it popping. If you're new, all that information to book a session and everything will be in the description box. So just check it out there. All right, Geminis for June 1st to the 2nd. So current energy, we have the magician. Future energy is the three of cups. The, what is this? The, um, hold on, because my spread's right here. The advice. We have the emperor in reverse. The challenge, we have the judgment in reverse. Love, we have the nine of wands in reverse. And career, we have the God knows what. <laughs> I don't even know what card this is because there's so much going on with it, but definitely know what the message is. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first card we're going to discuss, Gemini's current energy being the Magician card. Let me fix this. Okay, so current energy being the Magician, this is you realizing that you make or break your circumstance. So if you're consistent in working out, you see results in working out. If you're consistent in, in your efforts to build a business, then you'll see progress there. You guys are starting to realize that what you decide to do energy wise affects what comes after that. Even though that's something that, you know, that that's cause and effect, but it, it takes a moment as people for us to realize that our life is solely based off of cause and effect. Um, but with the magician card, um, yeah, there's things that you want to be different. You may be really starting to nitpick little things uh, to do with your situation, whether that's like feeling like you don't have enough friends, feeling like you don't have this, like you don't have enough confidence, like just picking at yourself over little things. This may have a lot to do with also your birthday. Happy birthday to my Geminis out there. Um, your birthday being around and you realizing that maybe you're, you're not exactly where you thought you were going to be at the age you're at now, or maybe this doesn't look exactly like how you pictured it. And there's a lot of questions that come behind that. Okay. Others of you, you're starting to realize that someone's really manipulative and they really can't help it in terms of them being a constant cheater or a liar. And you may be trying to Figure out if there's a way to fix that relationship, but yeah. Now, when it comes to future energy, we have the three of cups. So this has a lot to do with people close to you. Um, so there may be something to do with a friend that comes up, um, something to do with friendships. If you guys are currently separated from your love interest, you guys may speak within this time frame, whether or not you guys get back into a relationship that's a different question, but I do see the initial speaking and, and, and having a conversation. Hmm. Some of you may be trying to spend time out celebrating your birthday. This could be like throwing a party or you having a friend throw a surprise party for you. Um, yeah, this is like you just trying to go out more and have fun. So that may be the vibe that you're in. You guys also may be wanting to really focus on the things that you hold near and dear to you, the things that you want to accomplish, and you may be trying to get back into the flow of some goals you may have. Now, when it comes to what I see for the advice with the emperor in reverse, there's a need for you guys to stop having this perspective of your situation being out of your control or you not being in a power position in regards to your problems. With the emperor in reverse, this is someone who lacks accountability. Upright, the emperor is someone who believes in structure and is on top of their, their stuff. With the emperor in reverse, this is someone who feels helpless, powerless, out of control, just their life is a mess. So if any of you feel like that's your situation, this may be you needing to really be on top of your own behind 
in terms of things that you've been procrastinating on or just not taking serious enough. Some of you also like your dad issues or issues with the father of your child is really tainting your ability to have a healthy relationship. Now, what I see for the challenge here with the judgment card in reverse, um, the challenge may be some bad decisions. Some of you guys may tend to make, but only for the sake of like protecting certain friendships or relationships around you, or you just make may make bad decisions, giving people the benefit of the doubt or giving the situation the benefit of the doubt and having to learn the hard way. Others of you, this judgment in reverse is more of like accepting somebody back from the past constantly and then having a hard time, like not doing that. Or some of you are like internalizing the fact that someone hasn't come back around to speak to you in months. And this has been keeping you in a really stuck mental space. Now, when it comes to love specifically with this nine of wands in reverse, some of you are starting to really become tired, beyond tired with the stress, the anxiety, all the things your relationship may come up to or may have associated with it. And you could be literally at your breaking point to where you're just done. Some of you have already kind of snapped and you're having a hard time in the process of that being patient for that relationship to be fixed. Some of you are just tired of being patient. And that's where, that's why this temperance is in reverse. It's because the, it's this being sick and tired of being sick and tired syndrome that I see here. For others of you, it's like you and your person, you, you guys just don't really understand each other emotionally, like how you need to in order to sort through issues that come up. Now, last card, I don't know what card this is, but for the advice, whatever stuff you guys have going on in terms of, you know, issues here, issues there, whatever pent up issues, problems that are not being dealt with, it's time for you guys to nip that in the bud. Also understand you're not gonna be able to see clearly um, in regards to the path ahead of you, if you just have all this baggage, stress stuff going on here. Okay, it's a lot. But this is what I see. I am going to stop right here. I hope that you guys did take something from this reading. If you did, feel free to thumbs it up and check out the description if you want a personal. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.